Now the chat screen of course needs a couple of elements. It of course needs a list of existing messages, which is scrollable, but we also need an input field which allows us to send a new message. And for that here under widgets, I'll create a new subfolder, chat, where I'll add a messages.dart file. And that should be a state less widget, which I'll name messages, where we can import material.dart. And here the goal is to output all those, you guessed it, messages. Now we can use Cloud Firestore for that. So package Cloud Firestore, Cloud Firestore.dart, and then the good old stream builder, which we saw in action before, to connect it to our Firestore instance, and then here to a collection, which should be the chats collection. Now, previously, I had some documents here in chats for different chats, but actually we'll only have one chat in this entire application. So therefore, it probably makes more sense to name this collection just chat. And of course, therefore also make sure that in the rules, it's just chat and not chats. So now I just wanna have a chat collection and in the chat collection, I wanna have my messages. So we can directly listen on chat because that will be the collection and the messages will be the documents in there. And with snapshots, we therefore set up this stream. Now we need the builder where we get the context and the chat snapshot. And here, just as before, we can check for the loading state. So we can check if chat snapshot connection state is in the waiting connection state, in which case we could return a center widget where we basically display a circular progress indicator. And if we make it past this if check, we're not loading. So then I want to return my list view. So here I display list view builder. And for the item builder, we get the context and the index and then simply return, let's say, again, a text widget with the appropriate chat text at the moment. Now for that, we need to know how many items we need. So we also need the item count here. And that should of course be chat snapshot dot data dot documents dot length. And then here we can output the appropriate text by accessing chat snapshot dot data dot documents. And since I repeated this, let's actually grab it and put it into a separate variable here. Chat docs is my documents array here, so we use chat docs here and chat docs here for the given index. And now on every chat document, so on every message in the end, we should have a text, let's say, which should be displayed. So we want to output the text here. This could be how we render our list of messages. Now back in the chat screen, messages should be rendered, so here, in the body, instead of having that stream builder, which we had before, we can get rid of that and instead render a container, let's say, where the child is actually a column, where we then have children. And the first children I want to have is my messages widget we just worked on. And for that to work, you need to make sure that you also import the messages dart file into the chat screen dart file. So with that, I'm rendering messages here and messages, of course, renders a list view in the end. And a list view inside of a column will not work that well. You need to wrap this into a expanded widget. Otherwise you'll get an error. But with expanded, you make sure that the list view only takes as much space as available on the current screen whilst still being scrollable. So that should display some messages. Let's reload the application. And we see nothing here, of course. Now that makes perfect sense because we have no messages yet. Let's maybe simulate a message by adding a new collection and that is this chat collection to which I wanna listen. And we add a new document with a new auto ID and in there a text field where I say, hello. So this now could be a message sent by another user. And if I click save here, you see hello appear here on the screen 
because of our stream builder here in messages. So that is working exactly as it should. Next up, let's make sure we have a bar at the bottom that allows us to send a new message. 